Hey everybody, thanks for being here. This week we're fishing just outside the Golden Gate in California for King Salmon. Now if you want to learn how to catch more fish, stay tuned. I'm Justin Wolf and this is Angler West Television. Historically, the Sacramento River's run of Chinook, or King Salmon, is one of the largest in the world. Only the Columbia River and a few others worldwide can support the sheer numbers of salmon returning to spawn. This morning we'll blow by San Francisco like it's standing still, on our way out under the Golden Gate Bridge, into the Pacific Ocean, where the salmon have arrived surprisingly early this year. Before reaching the Sacramento and its tributaries, the salmon will feed heavily on krill, anchovies, and other bait fish in the cold waters off the Northern California coast. We're heading out just a few miles north of the Golden Gate with Lucas Milani, Virginia Salvador, Todd Storm, and Captain Zach Medinas. Uh, we're rolling up to the spot right now, and we're starting to find nice pockets of bait that we can work with. It's been a really unusual start to our salmon season. It feels more like fall. We've got fish really close in. Uh, this time of year, they're usually a lot more scattered out, but uh, we've got them really close in. We're literally off of Rocky Point right now. This is somewhere I normally wouldn't fish till August. So as soon as we get, yeah, this looks pretty good right here. I'm gonna have Virginia drop the gear. Zach, you ready? Yes, sir. Drop them in. Three, four, 30, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. <laughs> no, I'm going uh, 32 here and a 33 over there. So we're going to be running three ball rods and two on the downrigger. We have the Brad cut plugs on the downriggers, and we have just two side rods at 32 pulls, and that one's on 33 pulls using 40 ounce weights. And then we're going to have that one in the center at 100 pulls out with a pound and a half ball. Sink or release. Uh, right now we're working a depth of about 62 feet of water. They've got the spread anywhere from 30 to 55 feet. Some of the lines off the bottom, some about middle of the middle of ground. And we've got bait, big pockets of bait, a little bit more scattered out than it was yesterday. But I don't know. We're getting a lot of bait, and it seems to be. I think the 32 foot range is probably going to be our most productive range today. So the salmon are biting on this fish flash, the sartreuse green color. They love it. We've been really successful lately using these colors. Virginia, we got the uh, super snip here. It's got a UV light, so you can fire up these uh, little harnesses here and your beads. Cool. So it gives a little more glow, a little more flash in the water. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> We have to get you one. You got a fish or what? Virginia, talk to me. Do you got a fish? I don't know. We're finding out. Oh. Yeah, there's a fish on here. You guys want one? Here. Yeah. You guys want this? Better get a net ready. I'll net for you. Oh. Go ahead. It's a Go short. A little short? Yeah, it's short. You want to shake them? Shake them. Here, let Virginia do it. Bring them back. We just got hooked up on the sardine, Brad cut plug. They've been loving this color out here. 
In our spread right now, we're running half bait and half Brad's cut plugs. We're using both the watermelon pattern and the sardine. We were running the blackjack yesterday, and we've been getting an equal amount of fish on both. Fish on. Do you have one? Fish on. There we go. Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying today's episode from the Northern California coast where we're fishing for king salmon with a combination of bait and Brad's Cut Plug Super Baits. Now, Super Baits have been around quite a while. You may not have seen them too much in California, but they've been very popular for years up in the Northwest in Oregon and Washington, particularly on the Columbia River. Now, Super Baits actually come in several different varieties. The original Super Bait looks like this. They come in single packs and double packs. Uh, the single packs are fully rigged, ready to go. The double packs, you get two for just a dollar more, and you can rig them yourself. Now, there's lots of ways to rig these. Everybody has their own way, but just the real simple way that uh, Zach Medinas is rigging his is a good way to go. And there's lots of different color patterns. Everybody's got their own favorites. You don't need to buy every one. Just pick out a couple colors, bring some confidence in them, and you're really going to understand the value of the super bait. I mean, wouldn't it be great if you didn't have to buy bait? So the concept of the super bait is that they look like a rolled cut plug herring or sardine or whatever. And they all come with a basically a scent chamber inside. They open up, as you've seen in the episode. You can put whatever type of bait you want in there. Zach's choosing to use anchovies. A lot of people will stuff them full of uh, tu uh, canned tuna and then add whatever procure scents you want. Oils are great. Also, my scent chamber magic is a really good way to go. The original formula is krill and sardine. So what's better than that? Now, besides the original super bait, you've got the mini cut plug super bait that's three inches long, comes in two packs and they're fully rigged single packs. And what we're using in the show today is the full size cut plug. So you've got options. You want to match the size of the bait, basically. Now for fish flash, here's something I'm kind of excited about. I just got these in the other day. The four inch and six inch Hambleys. Of course, we have the eight inch. We've got these in both the Hambly one and the Hambly two. Basically, they're just super effective colors, especially in a little bit shallower water. This pink and the Aurora, it's just awesome. So let's go back to the California coast and see if we can't hook up with some more king salmon. Welcome back to the Northern California coast. I'm Justin Wolf. We're targeting king salmon with a combination of bait and Brad's cut plug super baits. And so far, the super baits seem to be more popular with the salmon. Bring him to the low spot. Another short on the cut plug. Gonna go ahead and shake him. So what we like to do is we like to shake our shakers instead of netting them. That way it doesn't damage their scales. It's better for the fish that way too. The fish we're catching right now, they're a little bit different than what we were getting earlier in the month. The fish we were getting earlier in the month, they were just heavily, heavily krill fed. I mean, just literally gut stuff full of krill. Had that beautiful plum red meat. And uh, the fish we're getting right now, they're working bait. So these fish are gorging on anchovies. A little bit different when you look at the flesh. It'll be kind of a pumpkin Halloween orange. Really oily, full of omegas. Just either way, the great tasting fish. We're just in a little bit of a different feeding pattern right now. So the salmon uh, here have to be at least 20 inches and the limit is two per angler. Actually, this one might have a little more in it. Stay tight on them, Luke. Hip, right here, double, double. <laughs> the big one. I'm coming. I'll just shake this one right here. Hey, Todd, you might have to net, buddy. Yep. What you got, this one? Yeah. Pull in, it's pulling. Turn. Turn with it. Yep, good job, Lucas. It's a thresher. Well, let's land him. Yeah, let's get him. It's a thresher. You jerk. Just hopped off. I felt it. It just came off. So we were just hooked up on a thresher shark. It just jumped out of the sky. It was gnar. <laughs> yep. He had some fun. 
<laughs> Thrashers. Buggers. He hit on the Brad's cut plug, which usually they always hit on the frozen anchovy. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> it, it totally fooled the shark. Here we go. I don't like to give him a chance. I think it's a keeper. Stay snug, no barbs. Eight foot rod. Oh yeah, that's when you walk, when you land them, bring them close. Back okay. them up. Keep Stay turning back. Corner. Keep turning. Stay up in the corner. Keep turning back. Turn, turn the rod. It's a beautiful one. Beautiful. Okay. Well, oh, 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 turn back. Keep the rod tip way over there. Ninety to the boat. Ninety, ninety. All right. Drill all the way down to that flasher. Okay, all right. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. There we go. Back. Well, up, keep going, keep going. Drill down. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, that was a nice one. It was about a 15 pounder. Oh. We'll get another. It's hot right now. Marvelous hooks. <laughs> Marvelous hooks, baby. <laughs> you were into the game. You were in the game. Man. Ate it. Ate it. Money. He was he was hit. He was chasing it, but it was hit. I looked at it, and then he took it. It is. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh man. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. The fishing is hot, and we'll get another one. Don't worry. We're just a few miles north of the Golden Gate Bridge targeting King Salmon, where today, so far, the challenge has been hooking up with keeper-sized fish and keeping them on the hook. Oh, man! Oh. Yeah, right now we're in this, it feels like a fall pattern. We've got really big fish right now and they're so close. Uh, we're being tested a little bit with our barbless hooks. They always keep things interesting, but they're good for the fishery. So we're getting the gear back out and we're gonna get another shot at it. Is he small? Little. Okay. Let Virginia take off. him off. Got it. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Yeah, another short one. We're on our way to a keeper. So we've had three hookups on the cut plugs and one on anchovy. over the top, swing them over that downrigger rod, over the top. Small. I don't know, it's pulling a little. We'll see. Another bitty guy. Okay. Sure, it's too small. Yeah. How small? Hey. Oh, he's too small. Yeah. yeah. They're like 18. Okay. Yeah. So on the cut plug, we loaded it up with anchovy inside, and we're gonna try a new color. There's also a scent chamber right here. I'm gonna load it up. And what's cool about this is it protects it from getting tangled up on the weeds. Drop it down below. We're going to go about 52. So we get the good luck frog here. We call the salmon in. Give him any slack. Get on the other side, Virginia. Don't pump him, just stay snug on him. Remember, you got an eight foot rod, so when he gets close, no, walk backwards. What do you think? 
the great thing about these super baits is you, you don't need bait. Uh, that last big fish we got, this is the rig that it came from, and we did a few mods to it. When you get them, they come with a treble hook, and per our regulations in California, we have to use a barbless hook only. So we've got our barbless hook, six aught hook, and here's our terminal tackle. So we have a swivel here connected to our hook, great thing about that is when that fish wants to spin and twirl he can spin and twirl all he likes he'll have no resistance whatsoever and we connect it to our uh, our monofilament here with a miller knot so that's pretty much it we've got some uh, we've got an anchovy fillet in here just to give it some extra scent we've got our scent cha chamber right here we packed that full of scent too just to send that nice cloud and it got that nice trophy fish that we've got in the box right now Welcome back to the Northern California coast. I'm Justin Wolf. We're fishing with Zach Fedinas of Gatecrasher Fishing Adventures, and after pulling through several shakers, we boated a beautiful king salmon that fell for a Brad's Cut Plug Super Bait. So what I did is I kind of went against what he said because I have this hunch that oh, <laughs> this would be the one that was hot, and it was. The colors are awesome on it. I stuffed it with an anchovy, and then I put Procure on it, the herring oil. And then I also put this magic original oil from Angler West and put it in the chamber. And you know, <laughs> rainbow, rainbow colors have been pretty hot lately, but I just had a feeling that we had to put this in the water, so I did. So you didn't listen, but we still got the big fish? Yeah. All right, all right, I'll give it up to you. Just win, baby. Right here, just win, baby. All right, nice work. Here in Northern California, we have a standard protocol. Uh, for our ball rods, we fish a lot of ball rods down here, sinker release. We like to use the four inch fish flash. Uh, when we're fishing downriggers, we like to go with our six inch. So we'll start the day and we'll kind of put out a collage. We'll put a mix of different colors out there. We wait for the fish to dictate what they want. Um, if we start to see a trend, uh, chartreuse and silver, uh, lavender blue, if we start getting hit pretty heavy on one color, one particular rod, then we'll, we have them at our disposal. So we'll switch them up. We'll run everything all one color and we'll basically do our best to listen to the fish, give them what, what they want. Again, I don't want to be right. I just want to win. We're heading down here to Muscle Rock. The guys are on a pretty good bite right now. And even though it's rolling a little bit here, we've got to go where the fish are at. So away we go. We're almost there. You know, good five feet off the bottom. When we're running our gear out here for salmon, the way we determine speed isn't by looking at a graph or anything like that. We want to get, you know, kind of an angle from your boat, kind of slightly diagonal. It lets you know that you got enough torque on the gear to have it spinning properly. Your super baits, it gives them just the right amount of action to make it effective. So with all of our hooks, we bend them slightly like that. We tend to be able to keep them on there better by just slightly bending them. Come stay bent. Keep tension at all times. Oh, he's real small. So 
the rods were doing something really funny and we looked down into the water and we saw a giant jellyfish. So we decided to pick up and move closer to shore. The jellyfish have not been too bad, um, but for whatever reason, we're out here where we're at and I thought we could troll through them and get out of them, but we're <laughs> they're just getting worse. So we're gonna head on in, get back on a good track and uh, hopefully get back to catching more fish. Stay tight on them. Yeah, come on, baby. Come on. Twenty. That's a twenty. Let's measure. I'm down. It's fat. And the fork of the tail. Put the tip of his nose against the wall of the boat. Yeah, 20, 20, 20. 21. It's heck of 21. 21. 21. It's All keeper. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Woo. Nice. Yeah. Nice and chunky. <laughs> Give him a kiss. <laughs> Give me, I'll do it again. <laughs> yeah. oh. Fish lips. Fish lips. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching today's episode. You know, without the support of the sponsors, the show would not be possible. So please thank them when you can. Now, get out there and do some great fishing.